133 miles an hour, and the gap between PK and Combe is now up to 26 seconds, with Arnu some six seconds behind Combe in third position, John Watson some 28 seconds behind Arnu in fourth place, Keki Rosberg 17 seconds behind Watson in fifth place, Michele Alvareto six seconds behind Rosberg in seventh place. In sixth position, and out goes Piquet. My goodness, it seems that the Brabham's are fated, and he has hit Eliseo Salazar, and he's furious. The Brazilian and the, Col the Colombian driver, I couldn't help it, said, and take that. Oh, my goodness. Well, Nelson Piquet, understandably livid with rage, he has seen his chances of winning the German Grand Prix literally spin out, and there's Bernie Ecclesen maybe being told, Eliseo Salazar, we only saw the tail end of it, but uh, obviously, as it became, Pique out, Salazar out, and that needs to say that Patrick Tolbe in the Ferrari leads his first Grand Prix. Yes, and that really is a tragedy. PK, of course, is absolutely serious, and I don't blame him. You're, it, to be pushed out by an inexperienced back marker is really a tragic way to lose the Grand Prix. It's happened to most of us, uh, a lot of drivers, one time or another. Here we see how it happened. PK going up the inside uh, to overtake Salazar. Salazar just driving into him. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I, quite what Salazar thought he was doing, and I have to say that is an absolute disgrace by Salazar, and uh, I'm just about as angry as I think Pique is, because he's, he's robbed us of, a, of uh, the only interest in the race. Once again, we're robbed of seeing Brabham to the pit, and uh, Salazar really should be taken to task over that. It was uh, absolutely disgraceful piece of driving. And PK is totally justified in however angry he gets. And I think it's quite frankly, Salazar was sorry, lucky not to be beaten up. Yes, and Gunther Schmidt, the billionaire German who owns the ATS wheel concern, will be very, very unhappy with uh, Winkelhock out of the race earlier on, and now his second car gone because of that mistake. It looked as though Salazar missed his brakes in driving into uh, Nelson Piquet. But uh, whilst we seem to be fated, as I said, never to see this much vaunted Brabham pit stop to take on fuel and change tyres, uh, with Patrese out, with Piquet out, Patrick Tombe now leads the German Grand Prix on lap 20, and there is the new leader.